Every morning, remind yourself that you deserve more and that you deserve better and that you're meant for more. If you believe you deserve more, you're going to start taking actions that match that belief. Sell everything you have. Literally, like, go broke. Like, because you, you're already broke anyway. What you got to lose? Your five grand in your bank account? Your 10 grand? Like, what's that? That's not going to take you anywhere. Go broke investing in yourself. Get on a path where you have problems, where you have obstacles. Cool. Then now figure out how to solve those problems. At some point, you'll start making money, right? It could be agency. It could be drop shipping. It could be um, maybe your TikTok influencer or your TikTok creator or maybe you're finding UGC creators. Then you're going to put plug them with brands and things like that. Find anything. Your experience becomes an asset. Yeah, it's like it's much easier because it's the same. Look, it's the same amount of attention to try to figure out how to move to Dubai as it is to look at what your current business is doing and thinking about how to 10 exit. Like it's a, it's you're not going to use a different brain. It's the same fucking brain. It's the same brain that makes you five mil, 10 mil a year. And now instead of going to create the value, you're trying to figure out how to conserve more. So it's like, it's like, what's the leverage? Is the the activity of trying to save money the the leveraged activity, or is the the the, the production the more like what's more what's has the biggest ROI? Well, you can serve so much, but you can make infinite. Right. So it's like focus on the focus on on the infinite side. Don't unless again depends also on how much money you're making, right? At some point yeah. it becomes a little tricky where it's like ah. Uh, Maybe I could save 20 million by moving to Dubai. Cool. Okay, cool. Is it worth 20 million to move a few months out of the year? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's worth saving. Cool. Then move, right? Right. But for me, I'm not. I don't, I mean, taxes, it is what it is. I'm trying to spend the money. Yeah. And on the team, trying to spend on uh, penthouses so that, you know, if the, before the government takes my money, I'll have, I'll, I'll, I'll give up. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll use it by the time they, they try to take it. I'll be like, Okay, you guys can take the rest. I'm okay. Yeah, that's really the the loophole. The ultimate loophole is just spend your money, bro. <laughs> just spend, spend it. it your money and then you can yeah. deduct it. I, I like that. And also the way I see it too is like, ultimately your business goal should always be to provide value. So let's say you do end up making a bit less money on it. By scaling your business, I mean, you'll still provide more value. So that's a net yeah. positive. So like, exactly. if you, you have that mindset... Money. Yeah, you yeah. can get to like a billion and then like that seven million you say is peanuts. Right. You know, who cares? Yeah. I think most people don't see it that way. They always see it as like, oh, if I'm not making money today, then I'm not making money, right? So people, people's timeline is so short that, okay, yeah, saving seven million this year is, is, is good, is the right decision. But when you look back on 10 years, you're like, well, I don't actually have to move. I could just take half of that seven mil put it back into better team members, put it back into better infrastructure, just put it back into branding. And then even though I'm, I'm spending money, let's say today I'm less profitable, this year I'm less profitable. Well, this new attention that you're going to acquire, this new team can now take you from maybe making 30 million or 15 million to maybe 60 million, right? So it's like, do you want to save 5 mil or do you want to save 30 mil? So it's, it's also putting into context that like the money actually can buy you more money. So, but you're trying to save it and keep it to your pockets. That's the dumbest thing ever. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's switch a little bit topics here just to provide even more value. I want to ask you a question because obviously now you're at a point in your life where you're doing great and, you know, you can probably trace back the dots and like kind of how it all unfolded. But for somebody who is just starting, like they're like, oh, I'm trying to make money online. Like what's some practical advice? Like be honest, where do you think that they should begin? Mm. I think first things first is just definitely invest more into the belief that you deserve more. I think most people are, you know, based on their environment, they will kind of like get convinced and sold in the idea that, Oh, you shouldn't desire more. You shouldn't be dreaming. You shouldn't dream big. Or even if people are supporting you in your dream, in your big dreams, they actually are not necessarily like pushing you into them. They're saying like, oh yeah, good job. I really believe in you. But they're never going to tell you like, hey, quit your job. Right? Mm -hmm. So for me, I think rule number one is, step number one is every morning remind yourself that you deserve more and that you deserve better and that you're meant for more. What that will do is it will literally automatically start leading you to paths where you start watching these videos. 
And maybe you start seeing people who are doing something. You're like, oh, I could do that too. If this guy can do it, why can't I do it? And then you'll start getting the courage to be able to invest time and money. But it all stems from that belief. If you believe you deserve more, you're going to start taking actions that match that belief, right? Mm -hmm. So find someone who has a skill. It could even, it could be the, the most ridiculous thing ever, but find someone who's making money. It could be you, it could be me, it could be anyone. Start following them. If they put out a, pro a product or a service, buy it. Sell everything you have. Literally, like, go broke. Like, because you, you're already broke anyway. What's you got to lose? Your five grand in your bank account? Your 10 grand? Like, what's that? That's not going to take you anywhere. Go broke investing in yourself. Buy the thing. What that's going to do is it was going to put you on a path of like, maybe the first thing you buy is not going to work out. You're going to be like, fuck, okay, now I have a problem. Goal number one is get fucking problems, right? Get on a path where you have problems, where you have obstacles. Cool. Then now figure out how to solve those problems, right? At some point, you'll start making money. Right? It could be agency, it could be drop shipping, it could be um, maybe your TikTok influencer or your TikTok creator, or maybe you're finding UGC creators, then you're going to put plug them with brands and things like that. Find anything, right? Now, this journey that you've just acquired also becomes valuable to someone else. Your experience becomes an asset, right? You can keep doing what you're doing, the scale that you acquired, or you can prioritize your experience and help people transition through that experience too, right? So, but I would say, believe more in yourself, invest in, in, in something, in someone, acquire their skills, spend a lot of time learning, and um, face as many problems as you can. Like deal with as much bullshit as you can. Because for me, I have this belief that every time I deal with a problem, I get an opportunity to make money. Because everybody else is gonna deal with the same problem. And who are they going to, you know, would they rather go through the, the bullshit or would they rather trade money to avoid the bullshit? Everybody who has money is always going to rather not have to do things. People are lazy. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I like to, to deal with as many obstacles as possible because then it stacks how much value I can provide to someone. And then I can go back, document all the solutions and then build a team, go implement these solutions for my clients. And then you start making money. That is such a powerful mindset, bro, because in any journey for any business, you're going to encounter a million problems and people are so afraid of that. But in reality, they should almost be grateful for that oh. because it creates opportunity. Like you said, it, thinking of your yeah. bit of your experience as an asset. I yeah. love that. That's so powerful. Yeah, it's super, super important. I think that's how for me, that's how I'd, I don't, I keep my sanity and I don't go crazy because sometimes, man, business is hard, you know, like if, and the more you win, the harder it gets. I think a lot of people think that just because you're, oh, you're in a penthouse, you're making money that like, that, oh, you've made it. I actually think, well, it's, it's not, I think it's, I know that my life today is, I deal with more stress than I dealt with before. But it's just that now I've, I'm accustomed to it. I'm used to it and I actually expect it. So then it's not really a big deal. I still go to sleep at like, like a baby, but, um, but you got to embrace, you got to embrace stress. You got to embrace, uh, pro problems. Cause that's the only way for you to, to, to make, to get free, a little bit of freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that, man. I think that's a great place to wrap it up. You know, we've been yeah. going for 45 minutes, which is amazing. This was such a great conversation. Exactly what I wanted it to be. So very happy that you came out here, bro. Where can people find you? Uh, just my YouTube uh, channel, Surge Guitari. Um, just check it out. And then uh, my Instagram, same thing, Surge Guitari on Instagram. And um, yeah, guys, just, you know, the only advice I would give is just believe that you deserve more. And even if you're already successful, if you're already making like a million dollars a year, why stay at a mill a year? You know, like you deserve better. Like, come on, like step your game, <laughs> right? Um, but uh, yeah, no, that's, that's that's pretty much it. Amazing, man. All right. Well, everybody have a great rest of your day. See you soon.